We've got some channel news at the end of this upload, so stick around. Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to On the Flip Side. My name is Adam Schaumacher, your host, and today we're going to be checking out this new album from King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, the second album this month in a series of three with the final album changes coming in just a couple of weeks, but today we've got Laminated Denim. If you didn't already see, I really, really enjoyed the last album, Ice, Death, Planets, Lungs, Mushrooms, and Lava. It took a lot of the more inventive elements that King Gizzard have been toying with over the past few releases and packaged them into a very jam heavy album that normally I don't think I would be super keen on but they managed to pull it off with a really cool flair that I've been kind of referring to as surf jazz and it's a really solid collection of tracks on further listens I do think it has its issues but it's still one of the better albums in the King Gizzard catalog now while I really liked that psychedelic jam album I'm not sure how much more of it seems necessary because while laminated denim is like ice death planets a good solid jam record this one seems to be a little bit unnecessarily stretched in a lot of ways. I do enjoy the core of these two tracks, that being The Land Before Timeland and Hypertension, both of which flow really nicely, pretty seamlessly into one another. And at each song hitting 15 minutes long on the dot, it is kind of cool seeing how one track can balance off of the other, but even though I enjoy a lot of what's here, it really feels like most of the sections of these songs could have been maybe pulled for a collection of other shorter tracks instead of these massive suites, which, while good, are still kind of caught up with pacing issues. The Land Before Timeland, for instance, has some fantastic melodies and grooves and excellent vocal work, and there's some guitar in this track towards the end of the song that is giving me some serious 10,000 Days vibes, but this song doesn't really seem to justify its length at all past the long song good. And I can understand the appeal a bit, but it's a bit puzzling to me that they would release two jam albums, one after the other. Like, I am wondering if the next album changes, like the title implies, is maybe going to be a shift from these past couple of albums, or if it's going to just kind of be more of this. Hypertension is interesting because the first few minutes of this track feel like their own segmented song that kind of just keeps going, and it never really gets that dull, but I can't help but feel like this song as well uh, could have been a bit more dissected for some cool components for some more tracks. I'm just concerned in general at this point because I've said it before, some of King Gizzard's material I have really disliked on top of some stuff that I've absolutely loved, and a lot of those albums have been adjacent to one another in each of these releases. This year really feels like 2017 for King Gizzard on a smaller, more compressed scale with Timeland, Omnium Gatherum, Ice Death Planets, Laminated Denim, and uh, then Changes all dropping this year. And I am here for it. I'm glad that we're getting some more cool King Gizzard material, even if it's not the most consistent. But man, I'm kind of just hoping that whatever is next maybe shifts a bit from uh, this style, because while I'm not super against what I'm hearing here, it sure is starting to wear on me. It's like hypertension is sort of like if Crumbling Castle from Polygon Duana Land and the Dripping Tap from Omnium Gatherum were just sort of mashed together, which I'm conflicted on because I love Crumbling Castle. I think it's a fantastic track, but uh, the Dripping Tap, like I've said before, I thought was a very uh, slow burn that never really quite went off for me. So I'm just not really sure on this one. Nothing here is really outwardly unpleasant to listen to, and I am enjoying the vibe, but it's maybe just not enough of a deviation from their last album to really catch me. And I think even isolated from their other work, this little album is still only okay. Nothing particularly mind-blowing here, nothing terrible, but it's definitely not essential listening by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Laminated Denim is a pretty solid six. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this album in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe, and if you like what I'm doing here, drop a tip in the PayPal, check out my Instagram, my Reverb, and my Depop. Links to those are all in the description below. And I also wanted to give a heads up as well. I'm going to be gone over this weekend for a wedding, so there's going to be a brief pause in uploads, but I will be back before you know it. And also, I wanted to comment on this channel's rapid growth lately and just kind of thank each and every one of you again for watching and for commenting, for liking these videos, and for the general feedback. I did have a goal for a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and we've surpassed that pretty quickly and at this rate we might be heading well over that so thank you all so much again I really appreciate all of the uh, subscribers here and I really just appreciate all of you because it's not possible without all of you and there is more good stuff to come more ambitious projects are in the works stuff that is going to take a while but still I'm really enjoying making these videos and I'm very happy to be bringing you all more thank you all so much again and we'll see you on the flip side